the way I see data is that on one side, you have collection, you have processing in the middle, and you have consumption at the end. For the past 10 years, the world has been running after the collection aspect, right? And a little bit into the processing aspect as well. So, you know, we've been running after sensors, you know, apps that collect data, uh, cookies that, that keep collecting our data. But at the end of the day, we have to come back to why are we even doing this, right? What do we want out of it? So in the next few years, where I see the world headed with respect to data is the consumption, right? Simplified consumption. Honestly speaking, we don't even need AI ML for all the data that we collect. Some of it is pure logic and gut feel. Today, when you look at the ground, right? Um, be it in manufacturing, logistics, across sectors, people make decisions based on gut feel. Right? At the end of the day, that can actually be automated. That can actually be used to reduce cycle time. Because in their mind, they're looking at a threshold. What's the, what's the threshold? It's data, right? And you, you can actually build systems to make those decisions. And it is not complex. So, you know, that, that heavy reliance we've been having on that midpoint, which says processing, and it has to be, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning. When you peel the onion and when you put intelligence at that consumption layer, you probably don't even need all that. You just need a simplified understanding of where can it add value and how do we get that value and what is that endpoint at which we deliver value. So, Hoshi, in my mind, in the next few years, the, the value addition with data is going to move to that consumption end because if we get that right, then we are truly using that oil. Otherwise, it's lying in our tanks. You know, we're paying for it but we are not adding value. It's not powering our engines.